Project Brotherhood nestles itself in the Woodlawn community, giving a chance at life to black men plagued by death, not just by homicide, but from health issues. These cold, muddy, and snow-covered streets on Chicago's south side get colder as the winter progresses. These empty streets represent a decrease in the population of black males in these neighborhoods. Executive Director Marcus T. Murray describes how he serves black men in his community with Project Brotherhood. Project Brotherhood is a clinic designed by black men for black men, ran by black men. We, um, our goal is to increase the health awareness of black men. Health meaning not just the actual disease, but the mental, physical, social, economic, and spiritual aspect of the, of the disease. According to a report by Mount Sinai Hospital in Chicago, low life expectancies are found in some of the city's majority black neighborhoods. Underneath the smoke of handguns are silent killers, diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. First of all, we're dying. We're dying because we're not going to the doctor. We're dying because we're not getting screened. We don't have access to health care. So if we don't have access to health care, if I can't be, for you know, use this stereotype, a strong, black, physically healthy black man, then where am I leaving my family, my friends, and my community? Project Brotherhood has considered these issues and combats them by connecting on a personal level with black men. But a lack of trust of medical authority hinders key research. Uh, we're working with Northwestern, University of Chicago, UIC, and Russ about African Americans not participating in clinical trials. Um, and that's important, because like I said, the research is important. So if there's, a, if there's a drug out there for diabetes and African Americans don't participate in the diabetes study, how do we know this drug is effective? Marcus Murray and his Project Brotherhood continue to fight on the front lines for black men. They are building awareness, screening for chronic health issues, and teaching people who are just surviving how to live. I'm Lorenzo Jackson.